What's up guys, Michael here. So Apple just released a revised version of iOS 13 developer beta three. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about some of the upsides and one huge downside of this release that I'm noticing on my iPhone. Let's go ahead and get started, but first a quick word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by WinX HD Video Converter for Windows and Mac, which lets you convert virtually any video file into a different format. So I personally use this when I'm traveling and need to compress my video files into a more manageable size for video editing. What makes the software great is that it's the world's fastest video converter with little to no quality loss. Check them out now using the links below and special thanks to them for sponsoring this video. So the update came in at 117.4 megabytes on my iPhone XS Max. And before I downloaded the update onto my iPhone, I had 44.53 gigs available. And after downloading it and installing it, I had only 38.46 gigs. So this update took six gigs off my phone and that was the one huge issue I'm having with this update. Super frustrating, it was only an update that was 117 megabytes. So I don't know why a 100 megabyte update has to take six gigs of storage off my phone. Tell me in the comments if you are having this issue as well. It is very frustrating. Uh, the build number has changed also. Before it ended in F, now it ends in G. Also, this build number of iOS 13 beta 3, the revised version, is now the exact same as the build number on iOS 13 public beta 2, which was also released today. So those two builds of iOS are now identical. So if you are running iOS 13 public beta 2, or iOS 13 developer beta three, the revised version that was just released today, that is the identical software version on the iPhone. The one big issue I was having with iOS 13 beta three is the touch lag issue. And this was all over Reddit. This was an issue that people were freaking out about. And honestly, I was even debating downgrading my iPhone XS Max to iOS 13 beta two, just because of how annoying this bug was. So here on Reddit, it is all over uh, the iOS beta subreddit. I'm on this pretty much every day and it is just constant people talking about the touch lag on iOS 13 developer beta 3. But today it looks like the uh, touch lag has been fixed just a little bit because after updating I was noticing my home screen definitely feel more responsive and on the previous version of beta 3 whenever I rebooted my phone there was always a bit of lag uh, and it wouldn't let me swipe to the next page of apps. As you can see there it kind of glitched out but the update does make it feel a little bit smoother. I don't know if it is completely fixed but I will have a follow-up video uh, to iOS 13 beta 3 to let you guys know if the touch lag issue has been fixed or not. So honestly, my best guess as to why Apple released this revised version of beta three today is because they also released public beta two today and they want both of those software versions to be identical except for the name developer beta and public beta. So before in previous years, public beta one would be developer beta two, public beta two would be developer beta three and so on. But before this update today, there was public beta one and then developer beta three. But then today, Apple released public beta two and then a revised version of developer beta three. So now it makes a lot more sense whenever Apple releases developer beta four, that will be public beta three. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, Apple is always very strange when it comes to these beta releases. Uh, if you don't want to lose that much storage on your iPhone, I might recommend staying away from this update. But if you don't use that much storage on your iPhone like me and you just want the latest beta, I would recommend updating to this simply because it looks like the touch lag issue has been fixed. And of course, there are gonna be a few supplemental updates here and there that make the operating system feel a bit more smooth. So you guys can tell me in the comments below what you think of this. Drop a like on this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next one.